say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and the same could be said about art. What's precious to some... All of us are guilty of owning at least one piece of kit, whether it's a collector item or something from abroad or maybe a glass figurine like this. But is kitsch art? A kitsch is referred to as something that's shabbily made, the trivialization of something that's um, important. Kitsch is something to which you are fervently attached that is fake. Kitsch is a formula. Formula sell. Kitsch is art that's sweet. It's kind of like a back rub a little bit. You know, it, it consoles you. So whether it's the Eiffel Tower made into an Eiffel Tower salt shaker or Elvis Presley put on a, on a t-shirt or, or Jesus put on a coffee cup, um, it's trivializing something and usually mass producing it. But what about religious kitsch? Is it wrong to buy a Jesus clock? Kitsch is not evil, except when it's sold for money. So in other words, so the people who make kitsch to sell it, I think, stunt the appreciation and aesthetic development of the people who take it. I think it's been a problem all the way along that that um, the expectations of the Christian community to the artist have been out of balance. We don't ask the, the surgeon to put Jesus, um, you know, Jesus loves you underneath the surgery. Right. We want him to be a really good surgeon if we want our heart replaced, right? So um, why is it that we ask the artist to have a, 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 a Christian message that is um, somehow really visible and strong immediately and the result of that of course has been bad art and, and propaganda kitsch. That so if kitsch is considered bad art, what is good art? This process always uh, is so exciting because you know you discover how much uh, the God creation you got inside. Visual artist Wojtek Maharzynski has been crafting well, award-winning pieces for over 20 years. Start to dividing the surface according some rules or according your emotion in the moment. His latest series of paintings titled High Seas were on display in the Hamilton Conservatory for the Arts. I uh, went uh, Sailing ocean? No. How you know how the looks the boat? I said, I don't know how the looks the boat because I didn't paint the boats. You know? Uh, I paint the different strokes and in your eyes this make illusion is sailing boats. While Wojtek's work is powerful, some pieces like the Conquest of Paradise series are not necessarily considered beautiful. People are afraid uh, to see how scary this world is and afraid about the death, misery, about all these things which really made us a better person, right? It takes him months, even years, to perfect his work. And I struggle, you know, not with the composition or technical points, but with uh, the message which I want to carry on. And that message is something he doesn't take lightly. Uh, the art right now uh, got the role or function of the artist to showing what the people don't see. Wojtek invites people to see things they may otherwise miss. You see, I wait, li wait a little bit to dry out and I receive this effect. And for him, that's what makes good art. First, fundamental thing in teaching art is to teach people to see, okay? Perception is the most important thing, because uh, when you see the things, you can uh, move them to the canvas.
She's been compared to Diana Krall. But 27-year-old jazz artist Lila Bialy plays to her own tune. Let her in on your secret Although her music is mainstream, Lila says her faith inspires her art. I make music as a form of worship. I make music because it's something I believe I've been designed and called to do. So they're one and the same. Lila the musician and Lila the Christian. To Lila, good music doesn't need to have an overt Christian message. I love the idea of, of doing something that's a little bit more subversive. And it's not even what I chose. I just happen to love jazz and the music that I make doesn't necessarily fall neatly within that category of what they call Christian commercial music because the, the tonalities that I choose and the forms that I choose are, are different. They're not as commercial. But it does require her to do something else. Every artist, whether they're a singer, a dancer, a visual artist, they have a call to listen, and everyone needs to listen and look for those things that are unseen. But I feel like the artist specifically is designed to and called to um, reveal those things that, the, that, that, that other, other people or people in other fields may not be as attuned to. And, um, and in that way, it's like we're pointing to the Father. We're glorifying Him. So there's something unwritten or that isn't, has, doesn't have necessarily to do with words, so it can include words some, sometimes, that points to God, that, that bears His image. Even storytelling is an art form, and there was no better storyteller than Jesus. Oh man, J Jesus was a great actor. I think that's one of my, he's like the model, he told great stories. And his stories uh, were very visual in nature. I mean, he, you hear them and you, you can visualize them. It's not my job to control. It's my job to love. Both dramatist Jason Hildebrand and film director Christopher Bissett want to follow in his footsteps. He just was able to draw people into a crowd, make them feel like they were the only person there within the context of everybody else. And that's how I think he spoke into so many lives. I want something real. It's spiritual, uh, Christian spirituality. While each man uses his own medium, okay, let's, take, uh, let's take him off of there. I also believe that uh, film is the literature of our day. And uh, if you talk to a lot of people, they actually probably see more films than they read books. And good art is the kind that captivates and draws people in. And cut! Cutting! That's the one. Okay. Print that one. I know that I've done a good job when uh, the audience resonates with what I've done. When I see uh, them cry or hear them laugh or uh, just uh, see the sincerity in their expressions to me after, say that, wow, that really touched me deeply, then that is, I think, the greatest gift that a filmmaker can receive. So, while technique and skill are essential to good art, it seems the greatness of art lies in something deeper. It's never one-dimensional, often subtle, drawing us into something bigger than ourselves. Tomorrow, we ask the question, art for art's sake, or does it have to have a bigger purpose? But God has come to give us, you and I both, life. And so we look at art and say, well, it's valuable if it can be, re be used to help people to become Christians. But the problem with it is that it, it fails to acknowledge the value of art in and of itself.